out there. Today I am doing this look here. It's um, just a real bronzy, summery look. I went and bought the Lorac 4 Quad. Very cool. Love it. Very similar to the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. Um, I wanted to do something, you know, I'm so tired of winter time. It's been sunny here in California, but I do not live in the part of California where it's sunny all the time. I do, no. I live in Northern California. So, I'll take the sun when I could get it. I miss it. Can't wait for summer, so I kind of did a summer inspired look this here. But if you'd like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. Okay, so I already primed my eye using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now I'm going to start off with the NYX Jumbo Pencil just as a little bit of a base, but I'm only going to put it in the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone here. I just like to brighten up. Um, it's always good to brighten up in the inner corner lighten it up because it just brightens your eyes it makes you look more awake that's all that good stuff for you all right so now i'm going to start off oops <laughs> sorry about that so now i'm going to start off i bought this from lorac it's i can't i think it was like i don't know it has um, the four shadows. What's cool about this is that um, these colors are very similar to the, some of the colors in the Naked palette. So I know that's really hard to get if you can get this. If you can't get the Naked palette and you could get this, I definitely recommend it because literally every single color I have in here matches at least one of them. Obviously the Naked Palette has a lot more, but I mean, I know it's uh, it took me a while to even track one down. So if you can't get it, try to get this. It's four quad. I cannot remember what it was called, but it has like the champagne looking colors. All right. So we are going to start off with the second color down right there that uh third dark color so to speak okay so now I am going to take just a simple paddle brush it's 239 by Mac but any will do and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid this is gonna be an awesome awesome quad for summertime because it's so just bronzy and just the colors are really pigmented just awesome so you just want to get all over I don't like to go all the way down on the lid okay and then you're just gonna go a little in the crease not too much this is a very simple look I just stuck to the colors in the the quad itself and now I usually don't do the brow first, but I'm going to put a little on the brow. This is pretty shimmery. A lot of the colors are like a frosty, so I mean, you could always use, I'm just going to swipe it down there. You could always use, um, you know, mix and match. You don't have to use all four together, but I just, I don't know. It's been winter here. I'm going for a frosty look. Okay, so now that the what I put on my brow bone was the lightest color there. Now I'm going to use the second color in the second lightest color. I'm going to use that same brush, but I'm going to use the opposite side. And I'm just going to lay that color. It's a real light champagne color. I'm going to put that just on the inner half of the eye. Yes, I could have put this color and then the darker color second, but I wanted the mix of the two. Alright, so now I'm going to take the last fourth color, the dark brown. I'm going to take a simple pen pencil brush and I just dab that on the pencil brush. 
and I'm just going to put this in the outer V, but I go a little higher. Now, if you have smaller eyelids, you don't have to go as high as I do. I just, um, like I've said in many videos, this high it has a little more skin, so I take it up a little higher, I guess to try to prevent the showing of the droopiness of the skin. So now I'm just going to take my 217, but any stiff dome brush will do, and I'm just going to blend this out. You don't want the real, you know, dark. You just want a very blended champagne bronzy look. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that light shimmer. And I'm going to blend with that. And now I'm going to um, take a little bit of that deep bronze color. I'm just going to put it a little more on the outer corner of the eye here. Or more of like inwards, I guess. And then I'm going to take a blending brush. This is 224 by MAC, but there are all kinds of blending brushes that you can use. And you're really going to want to blend this color out. I don't want any kind of harshness um, as far as the color goes. You do windshield wiper movements, whatever works for you. I like to kind of blend up just to get the color a little higher. But like I've said, if you have... Um, you have um, shorter eyelids you don't have to do that now I'm just going to go back in with the lightest color and I'm going to just put it right back on some of the color we've laid down and then I'm going to take um, this is the 24-7 the white you could use the NYX Jumbo pencil but this will stay longer so I'm just going to put it right there in the inner sorry I'm looking down inner corner actually I'm going to put a little bit more of that of the second color there sorry guys I hope I'm not confusing you jumping around okay now with that I'm going to actually take a little bit of makeup remover just to kind of get a more defined I always go too low on this eye so you can easily clean it up alright so now with that I'm gonna take my gel liner any eyeliner that you of your choice you're more than welcome to use I'm just gonna line the lower lash line and I bring it in a little to the white so I still have white in the inner corner and it kind of it goes dark dark and then fades into the to the white color that's what I like about doing that now I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush I'm gonna take that dark brown that we did I'm going to just push it into the liner. This will keep your liner on longer. And it will smoke it out a little. Now I'm going to go lastly with the first color, that white. I'm just going to take a clean pencil brush, dab it in that white color, and just put it in the inner tear duct. Voila. Alright, so I am going to put my eyeliner on and my mascara and I will be right back. Okay, we are back. So here you go. Here's the end result. Um, it's just a real bronzy, I guess, summer look. I'm so over winter time. Uh, it's actually been sunny here the past couple days, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get into summer mode. Um, I went ahead and put my lip gloss on. It's my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's Underage by MAC. It's just a real neutral with a hint of pink. I love this. I've been using it for years. But 
yeah, here's the look. Um, I bronzed up and I put some blush on too. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please subscribe. It's S. Blondieful. Thanks everybody. Bye.